All right, guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com, and welcome to another episode of Tool Tuesday. Now, this week we take a look at the J Concepts aluminum camber gauge. Now, I've actually never owned a camber gauge, I kind of always eyeball it. So, this is kind of a, a nice thing to have to get that exact down to the science setup of your vehicle. So, right here, quick model number for you guys, but I'll have a link down in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. Now, what's so nice about this thing, it is precise and it is aluminum anodized. I mean, it, it has all of the bells and whistles for a camber gauge. And what's really nice is it comes in its own case, which is pretty cool. Now, if you notice inside here, there's cutouts for a ride height gauge as well. So if you do pick that up, you can kind of carry it all in one case, which is pretty nice. So let me get this out of the package and see how it comes out. All right, so inside the package, you get this nice case. Now, this, this is actually unexpected. Um, it gives you the cutout right here for the camber gauge. There is a ride height little uh, blank in here, so if you happen to purchase J Concepts ride height gauge, that can go all in one case. And then there's also one other cutout right here for their um, turnbuckle wrench, it looks like. So, uh, but very nice overall. It has padding inside. I mean, just a, a, a quality item here. So pretty nice that you get that uh, included in the purchase. So, but the star of the show here is going to be the camber gauge. Now this will, um, uh, capture camber anywhere from positive 10 degrees to negative 10 degrees. Um, I have mine set right now for negative one. Checked uh, a quick uh, setup guide for that uh, for that actual um, uh, setting, but right here, just a, a quick little twist right there and you can adjust it back and forth. Has one pivot screw and gotta say the construction of this is really nice. I mean, it is um, all aluminum design. It has that blue anodized uh, finish. You can also get it in black. But what I really like is all the chamfered edges right here, just to give you that, that taste of quality of this item. So really nice. Well, let's uh, experiment and check out what uh, camber I was running in my uh, B6 over there. All right, so setting camber is actually pretty easy. All you basically have to do is make sure of two things. You wanna make sure that your vehicle is, is ready to run. So battery, everything's installed, body, the whole nine yards. Uh, you also wanna make sure you're working on a very uh, flat surface. So if you're on like a pit mat or something that could um, you know change the surface uh, definition, definitely uh, get something that's flat. But all you do is you take your vehicle, you wanna drop it from about foot, foot and a half, make sure it's in its resting position right there. Go ahead and I have this set up for a negative one right here and just slide that on over. Make sure you're touching both uh, sections of the tire and it is actually, so I'm actually running negative one on my rear tires. So um, all you have to do is go around to each tire, check that, make sure that you're uh, setting the, the same camber, uh, whatever your owner's manual or whatever setup guide that you're working with. And uh, definitely check your camber anytime that you have maybe a big hit, uh, you do cartwheel down the straightaway, something like that. So, well guys, that is this week's Tool Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this thing and I'm off to the next one. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.